As most of you are aware, we had originally planned to get married in May of 2020, but because of COVID, we had to postpone our plans. Eager to start our lives together as husband and wife, and to start our family, we decided to have our wedding ceremony in May of 2020. And then, one and a half years and a baby later, here we finally are this evening celebrating with all of you, our friends and our family. Thank you. Lisa, you were the best little sister I could ask for. You're a caring daughter, and now you're a loving wife and a proud mother. Congratulations. Aside from being a genius and a great guy to party with, I also learned over the years how much Pat truly cares about his family and friends. He will always go out of his way to help you out, whether it's helping you understand a concept at work, lending an ear when you need someone to talk to, or even today, lending you a burgundy tie so you can match with the rest of the wedding party. Congrats on getting through the first year of your marriage and starting your own family. Last but not least, to my beautiful and perfect wife, Lisa, who has been working so hard to make this reception possible while at the same time caring for our little man, Santino. What more can I say than I love you? Thanks again to all our family and friends for joining us here tonight, and then we can get this party started. Enjoy the rest of the evening, and thank you again.
the family and hung out on the weekend but even when we couldn't hang the messages we would send thank you for everything you do for me I'm so thankful you're my cousin through all of these great years this bond will never be broken my beautiful 92 twin I'll love you forever and like you most of the time just know that I'm all in to my brother and sister-in-law hi Lisa I love you both and well we'll see you next